For this question, we need to review what scalar and vector projections are. So the question asks, find the scalar projection of the vector A onto the vector B. There are two types of projections we learned recently. A scalar projection was denoted as comp or component of B onto A will be a dot product A times B, right, all of these are vectors, over the magnitude of A, size of A. While the vector projection was uh, had a little bit more complicated formula, you also need to remember this one called projection of B onto A. And this one had two different ways we explained to you. But the most popular is this one, dot product A times B over the magnitude of A squared times A. The end so this will be vector. So you should not be confused that here they're calling the vector a and b just like in the formula you always need to be careful which one is projected on which vector because it matters scalar projection of a on b or scalar projection b on to a is not the same thing so these kind of things should keep you should keep in mind what does it mean to have a projection in general when we are projecting onto b the vector a you need to imagine some kind of shadow over here and now this shadow either just we need a size of it so that's going to be called a scalar projection or we need a whole vector that's going to be a vector projection and that's that's why they're different formulas the projection might happen this way so that will be different case when the angle is from 90 to 180 or maybe they completely perpendicular then the projection is zero why because there's also cosine involved into this formula and cosine of pi over 2 is 0. And as you can see, what is the shadow of the A onto B? 0. So, in this case, you need to pay attention to two things. Are they asking about scalar or vector projection? First of all, they're asking about scalar projection. Okay, so we need formula number 1. Then, which ve vector onto which vector? A onto B. While in this formula, we're giving B onto A. I always remember that whoever, mm, I always remember that denominator will have a vector on which we are projecting. So B will go into denominator in this case. When we're projecting A, let me change the color for you. A on top B, that will be still the same dot product because we can change the order of this but denominator will have the size of b magnitude of b instead so let's write this down component in this case not b and a in this order we are projecting a onto b so a onto b will be a dot product of a times b over the magnitude of b and the answer should be a number again that's why it's called a scalar projection or a component and now the calculation starts so i will put this in the box this is the formula that will decide your correct or not correct uh, beginning of the solving the problem one three and minus one one three and minus one dot product multiplied by 4, 2, and 0, I see it in front of me, divided by the magnitude of which one, A or B? The one on to we're projecting, so B, 4, 2, and 0. Size or magnitude of 4, 2, and 0. This will give me, remember that product is just a product of component by component added together so 1 times 4 plus 3 times 2 plus 0 times minus 1 all over the magnitude will be a square root 4 square plus 2 square plus 0 squared then it's going to be 4 plus 6 is 10 and then the square root of 16 plus 4 20 this actually can be simplified but if you want to de-rationalize the denominator uh, I don't like doing that to be honest but sometimes instructors ask people to do that so let me do it really fast to de-rationalize 
denominator, you need to multiply both numerator and denominator by the square root, in this case square root of 20, then you will have 10 square root of 20 over 20, because the square root times square root gives you no square root, 10 over 20 is just one half, so it's going to be square root of 20 over 2. This is okay answer, or you can remember that 20 is 5 times 4, right? So it's going to be 5 times 4 over 2, oh, 5 times 4 over 2, square root of 4 is 2, then it's going to be square root 2 square root of 5 over 2, cancel out, and the final answer is square root of 5. Unless I made a mistake, let me see. I think it looks good. Which is the correct answer? And if you want to know the approximate size of the projection, so it's a scalar projection, so we just know the size of the shadow of the vector A on top of the vector B, then it's 2.23606798. But usually we don't ask about uh, the approximation. Square root of 5 will be the best answer, or square root of or 10 over square root of 20. And that's what we hope that you remember about uh, the scalar and vector projections.